Donc, euh, bonjour à tous, je me trouve en présence de Louis Richemont, un monument de l'histoire du trampoline français. Louis était le représentant de Georges Nissen dans les années 60-70 et c'est lui qui a livré en France la plupart des trampolines et qui a permis à la fédération de se lancer. Donc euh, Louis, uh, in which circumstances, <laughs> Louis, first question, in uh, which circumstances did you find about uh, trampolining? Well, I was in America, in Detroit, on a, a business which trying to buy steel. And I noticed all these trampoline parks there, and it sort of interested me. And when I got back to Paris, I wrote to the Nissan company, and they sent me a telegram that George Nissan was in Frankfurt, and at a, and they're having a, a trampoline uh, uh, show there. So I went there, and I met George, and that's how my relations with George started. Okay. Um, did you practice trampoline yourself? No, I didn't practice it, but I used to jump on it just to test it, and that's all. But I, I was no trampolinist. Okay. Uh, could you tell us more on George Nissan and the relationship uh, you had over the years within him, with him? Oh, uh, can you can you repeat that question? Uh, could you tell us more on George Nissan? and the relationship you had uh, over the years with him? Well, I, uh, I knew George since 1963, and uh, and he did, and oh, he did a pretty good job in promoting the trampoline, and uh, he came off into Europe, and, uh, and I arranged to, uh, to get permission from him to use the name Nissan Trampoline. And uh, I started a, 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 a company here, uh, Nissan, Tramp Nissan Trampoline, and also Nissan France. And, uh, well, he was pretty good with me. He helped me a lot, and because uh, I, didn't, I didn't have much behind me to do anything on my own. And uh, I got started that way. And I got in touch with the, with the French who were interest in trampoline in the gymna in the gymnas gymnasiums and that's how I got to know uh, uh, Bernard Amel uh, and uh, the Roquette and and the others and uh, well what else uh, uh, oh yeah and uh, the relationships with all these people was very good and uh, and they all co cooperated well with me and uh, we helped one another a lot has <laughs> 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 a sound it's wonderful hey cadre que sur lui d'accord oh, quand tu poses ma question après tu cadre que sur lui okay <laughs> well you have to uh, say how, how long i worked with him yes uh, Well, Could you just more on your responsibilities within the Nissan company? Well, I, I didn't work direct with him. I had a, like a concession, and uh, and uh, they, uh, I dealt with them, and they dealt with the, they, we dealt with one another, and this and this went on for about 25 years, and then I retired and I uh, sold my uh, my company to a French company. Um, what circumstances uh, lead you? <laughs> J'arrive pas, j'en chie putain. Uh, what? Attends, vas-y, coupe, coupe. Uh, answer. <laughs> answer. Answer. <laughs> Il prononce pas le W. Answer. In your answer, may you introduce, introduce uh, the question. Okay. Uh, uh, And. Okay. Uh, once again. Yes. <laughs> Well, I live in Fr I lived in France at the time, and and when I used to go to America on different uh, businesses, and I used to see the all these trampoline parks there, and they were very crowded, and, and it seemed to be going very good, and it interests me, and uh, I took down all the information concerning uh, this and, and his address, and when I got to f Paris, I wrote. And they and I got a telegram back telling me that Nissan was at that time 
having a, 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 a trampoline show in Frankfurt. And they gave me the address, and I went on the telegram, and I went there. And that's how I met George Nissen the first time. And uh, we spoke and uh, for the start, and then uh, I left, and then I kept in touch with him. And then uh, little by little, I, we, uh, I arranged everything, and uh, he allowed me to use the name Nissen and Nissen France. He gave me the permission, and uh, then I started to import uh, trampolines. Well, he had to give me a lot of credit because <laughs> at that time, and uh, we got along pretty good. And then he contacted me with his company in England. He had a company that manufactured trampolines in it in England. He George in America made all the trampolines chrome. In England, they were zange. That was the difference. <laughs> and how's it? Yeah. Okay. Where are you working in other countries? I was strictly uh, France and Francophone, but I did get orders from uh, uh, from Saint Maurice. I made a uh, I made a delivery there. I I got orders from uh, Madagascar. I used to get orders from uh, Guadeloupe and uh, Martinique, uh, but mostly where it was French speaking, and uh, and a lot of the their professors of gymnastics would come to Paris and they would look me up and I used to arrange uh, a sale. They used to uh, come and see the equipment and they would buy. And then, but I mostly sold uh, in France. I also sold to, plage, uh, to, to the Plage and... Uh, wait. Oh, Monsieur bon. Wait. What was your relationship with Kurt Bachelard? Huh? Oh, <laughs> putain. <laughs> What was your relationship with Kurt Bachelard? Well, it's like question seven. Question seven. Oh, Bachelard. Yes. Oh. Ah, Kurt Bachelard. What was your relationship well, with Kurt Bachelard? My relationships with Kurt Bachelard were perfect. Kurt Bachelard was a good businessman. He started with nothing and he built himself up well. And he's a person you can trust. And I. I, and we used to, a lot of uh, many times he used to import uh, containers from America and he'd include my uh, equipment then when it got to Switzerland he would send it on to me and we never had no problems and uh, he's a very honest and very correct person okay. <laughs> could you tell us more on the first trampoline sold in deli on or delivered in France? Could you tell us more uh, on your role in developing in trampoline France? Yeah. Well, anything, uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, sold before 1965 was not from me. Uh, uh, probably from Kurt, Pe uh, Kurt Petula because he was well ar uh, arranged with uh, George Nissen already, and they were doing a lot of trampoline demonstrations in Europe, and th those. Trampolines, whatever they did, uh, uh, was sold, which probably came from Kurt Bessler. And uh, I think the first trampoline that they had with the group uh, 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 that I met at Berman, uh, that was uh, run by Bernard Amon, I think that first trampoline did come from Switzerland. Okay. Well, c'est bon, une petite réponse, ça, c'est nickel. Uh, tu reprends ou pas? <laughs> Could you tell us more on the circumstances surrounding the delivery of a trampoline to Bernard Hamon in 1965 after they sent a letter to John Nissan? Oh, dis-moi que t'as compris celle-là. Well, wait, 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 wait. I, uh, oh, you, you remember? Well, Attends, c'est well, bon? 19, <laughs> well, uh, as of 1965, I, I started to sell trampolines in France. And uh, as far as the letter sent to George Nissan, I don't remember it, but he was always in contact with uh, with uh, George, uh, Bernard was, and uh, I was the only one selling trampolines, and usually uh, uh, I would I would be selling the trampolines made in England that was Zange, and, and they were cheaper. Question to develop double mini trampoline on space ball. Question uh, 11. What is your opinion of the, of, the, of the lack of... Tu l'as, ma question, ouais, c'est bon. Tu l'as pas, ma question T'as pas le début 
What is your opinion of the lack of initiative well, in France for developing the well, double mini trampoline? Well, a double mini, mini trampoline, as I understand, was uh, started was started by uh, by uh, Bob Bollinger. Uh, Bob Bollinger, and uh, he and well, he was put on the Hall of Fame for trampolines, I know. And uh, as far as space ball, I used to demonstrate it down along the coast in the Riviera and all that. And uh, I remember the first time I met uh, uh, Jack Medesan, he was a, a fat man, black hair, big black mustache. And I became very friendly with him and he liked, and he liked uh, the, 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 the space ball. But the space ball, I don't think interested the uh, the federation very much because it wasn't uh, it wasn't the same thing. That was uh, a game, and their interest more in the sport. Okay. After you retired, why don't you why didn't you choose to come back on the U.S.? Well, well, I lived here a long time. I I had a problem with my family in the states because uh, gone they uh, well I don't want to what they did I mean the Malonette and uh, and I had a lot of friends here and I liked I liked the life here and uh, and New York wasn't the same thing but I used to go often to the states to visit friends who who I knew from who was in, uh, in, during the, the war who was in combat with and and, uh, and I used to go to Denver a lot because the prisoners that we liberated there, I became very good friends and I was like one of the family. And these people were prisoners of the Japanese for about three and a half years. And uh, we liberated them in Manila. But uh, I find myself more at ease living here. And I have no trouble with the French. I get along good with them. And do you still follow Trampoline? What do you think of his evolution, of its evolution? Well, from time to time, I always see it on the television, and it's was in, it's interesting the way they improved it. And from the time I started, uh, the trampolines until today has been qu quite a progress. I remember in 1965, I installed uh, a lot of trampoline de fosse in uh, Cassis. Uh, that was Rika had me uh, uh, gauge me, and I and I uh, installed quite a few of these trampolines there, and that seemed to impress people a lot, but uh, but but they weren't. Uh, that was only for playing. But but now the trampoline, and when I see it on the television, it's it's really progressed terrifically. And uh, if, if if George Nissen uh, 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 was to try uh, uh, to try to do what they do today, I don't think he could. He could. <laughs> I don't think he could do those. Do the same. Uh, Trampolining that the that the the people do today, and the, or Kirk Bachelor, they were good, but uh, but they, they're now they're out of the class of the t of t today's trampolinist because they've been well trained and they have greatly improved. Yeah. Last question, uh, Louis. Uh, en regardant la caméra, may you wish an happy anniversary to the French trampolining for uh, his uh, for its 40th anniversary. Yeah. Well, of course. Uh, uh, at Wish and, uh, and, and happy well, I hope, I, w I really wish the French Federation the best for their 40th anniversary, and I hope I'm, I'm still around for the 50th. Great. Thank you very much, Louis. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's a terrible. No, I should have gone through this. And it's terrible for us. We're big no, mess. I have one word and I don't have to Huh? Ici en Nagano. Que tu m'as pas appelé? Toi?